Hey there, guys and gals. This is Barbie Figueroa with PersonalBrandingForProfit.com. Thank you so much for watching my video and welcome to Thrive Themes Thursday. In today's video, I'm going to show you nine different places you can add an opt-in form to your Thrive Themes website. And when you get a developer or personal license, it is all included in your package. So if you want to see nine different places you can add a Thrive Themes opt-in box to your website, then keep on watching. guys and gals thank you so much for watching my video this is Barbie Figueroa and uh, make sure that you take a minute and uh, visit my website after this video at www.personalbrandingforprofit.com also I am going to be uh, kind of branching off from my own website and I'm going to be launching barbiefigueroa.com so I can give you a little more personal perspective on the life of a you know stay-at-home business mom and uh, how I've been building my business and some of my own personal strategies that I use uh, to build my business online outside of personalbrandingforprofit.com so make sure to stay tuned for that that's coming soon um, and so in the meantime, let's dive right into the video. So obviously, there's different places that you want to put opt-in forms on your website. The whole purpose of building a brand online is to generate leads, build your list, make sales, right? That's what we want to do. We want to sell our products. We want to sell our services. Uh, are whatever it is that you're selling you need to generate leads you need to have systems in place that help you make sales okay you're no different than Groupon or if you are you follow the makeup world uh, you know there's different makeup sites like wet and wild I love makeup so wet and wild and uh, Elf Cosmetics or, you know, any leader in network marketing or whatever your niche is. If you go to the website of any leader in your particular niche, whether you're a fitness person, whatever, they usually have an opt-in form so that they can collect your information in exchange for something of value. What they're doing is they're building their list. Why? Well, whatever amount of money or time or effort that it costs to generate that lead in the first place, in time, those advertising costs or those energies of putting you know, that, that time and effort into creating content to generate those leads will become profitable because later on, after they have opted into your email list, you can still send them promotions via email. So it's kind of like the gift that keeps on giving. You generate the lead once, but you continue to market to them over time. So that's why it's so important to focus on building a list, okay? Now, even on my website, I have different places where you can, uh, you know, opt in for uh, more information or to watch a case study. And I have them throughout my blog. I have them at the bottom of my website as well. Uh, you can opt in here to see a case study. So there's different opportunities on my website uh, where you can check out um, more information that I have to offer you. Now, how can you do this with Thrive Themes? Well, let's go to the Thrive Themes uh, lead dashboard and I wanna show you uh, different ways that you can, different places I should say where you can add opt-in forms, okay? Now this is Thrive Leads as you can see right here and Thrive Leads is included with the developer uh, license and the personal license. I'll have a link below the video where you can check that out, okay? so. I'm going to click over here. You say add new opt-in form. So we've got nine different ways, nine different places you can add an opt-in form. So you have the in content, the light box, the post footer, the ribbon, okay, which I've already used it. And I love how Thrive Themes will let you know, hey, you've already got this one for this lead group. You've got a screen filler, a scroll mat, slide in, widget and you also have a php insert which allows you to generate code that you can install uh, in different places okay so let's go ahead and uh, i want to go ahead and just create a quick light box okay so let's go ahead and create a light box and we're going to go ahead and we're going to add a form so we're going to go ahead and we're going to create a form so we're going to call this test light box 
So let's create this form. Okay, so now what you want to do is you can change the animation right here and it'll give you a little preview. You can rotate it however you want to do it. Okay, you can zoom in and save. You can display the frequency. So if you want someone to uh, see the uh, it, the same visitor, you want them to see the box every single time that they go to your website, you can do that. Or you can control uh, how often the same visitor sees the box. Okay, uh, they'll collect cookies so that they know, uh, so that the software knows when to display the box. Okay, so I would just go ahead and every zero days, that means it'll display it all the time. And then also here you can ch uh, change the trigger and uh, you can have different options here. You can show it on page load after a certain time period when the, uh, when the person scrolls. So basically what I usually do is show after a certain period of time and then you can just put 10 seconds and you could also put a smart exit which means when the person tries to leave your website they will automatically see the pop-up it will it will trigger their pop-up when they try to leave your site okay so right before you go hey here's an offer try to opt in okay so there we go okay now let's go ahead and uh, just go through the basics of editing this light box okay so what I want to do now is just I want to go ahead and choose the template that I want to use okay so let's choose this one this one's really popular a lot of people uh, seem to use this one so I'm gonna go ahead and choose this template and of course you can edit it however you like okay so basically you can go ahead and you can edit this all right and then right here you are going to connect it to a list okay so you click on here connect form to service and then you can choose a new API connection or an HTML form connection we can just go and create the API connection okay so add a new API connection. It'll tell you to do it right here. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and add a new connection. And um, so I'm just gonna run you through this because I've never added my AWeber to it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add AWeber. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and connect. And it's gonna... So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna authorize it. And now it has uh, authenticated AWeber with Thrive Themes and now I can use it. Okay. So let's go back. Let me refresh this. And we're going to go ahead here and we're going to connect the form. And now it now it detects a Weber. OK, so now you're going to select a list. So I'm going to go ahead and just select this list. And I'm going to hit continue and uh, I'm just going to uh, enter these regular fields. You can add a new field if you want and just go ahead and click save. Okay, now you can re redirect to a custom URL or you can show a success notification. Now I'm still getting used to using Thrive Architect. They literally just released it a couple of days ago. What I do like so far is that it walks you through the process kind of like a wizard. So I do like that, but I'm still getting used to using the new interface. So for right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and use a success notification and say, woohoo, you're in, okay? So that is basically it. If you want to go ahead and uh, customize any of these things, you can change the layout and position of anything by doing this. You can go ahead and save this real quick. So we're just going to hit save. And now we're going to go back to Thrive Leads. And we're going to go ahead and make sure you activate the light box. Okay. And we're going to go over here and put your targeting and we want to put it on the front page. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we are going to check it out. And there you have it. So that is how you activate your light box. And that is just one of the nine different um, opportunities you can put on your website to collect leads. It's really, really cool, very simple. And I love Thrive Leads because, uh, or I should say I love Thrive Themes because they are really geared toward lead conversion. 
And that's what you want to be doing if you're putting all this effort into creating content and driving people back to your website. And if you're running Facebook ads, you want to start building your email list. And that way, you know, this is a really cost effective way of, you know, doing the work once, putting money into advertising once and let those advertising dollars continue to work for you throughout time. So hopefully that helped you. Hopefully that gave you an aha moment. You know, I, I don't go into total detail. Uh, it would take too long to sit here and, and show you, you know, what kind of copywriting I would use and what kind of, uh, you know, other bullet points I would use and how to customize this whole thing. Um, so, but those are things I'm going to be bringing out uh, very shortly. Once I launch my own website, my barbiefigueroa.com website, uh, I will be creating uh, classes and things, live classes where I'm going to teach how to do these things so that you can start implementing them in your business. So if this was helpful and if you, you know, enjoy this video, please go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel and uh, make sure that if you really did you know, find it helpful that you go ahead and share this with a friend. And, you know, I would love your input. I would love your comments. What do you want to see on the next Thrive Themes Thursday? You know, if you've been looking at Thrive Themes and you want me to answer a question or you want me to review one of the plugins for you, please go ahead and just leave your comments below this video. That'll be really, really helpful. Uh, I would love to help you figure out how to use Thrive Themes for your business. Or if you don't have Thrive Themes, you know, you can learn more about that as well by clicking on the link below this video. So for now, this has been Barbie Figueroa. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Thrive Themes Thursday. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.